Thank you, Chris. Welcome to the Town of Deerfield Select Board meeting, August 2nd, 2016, at 5 p.m. We um, call this meeting to deal with um, a request for um, a discussion and deliberation on 72 Mill Village Road. Um, we'll, we're waiting for Matt. So um, we have a couple other items that popped up that we need to discuss. So we're going to address those at the moment. Uh, the first item is the elementary school roof project, a review of the contract amendments. Um, Doug, do you have, is it just the one uh, meeting adjustment? You should have a copy of, uh, sorry, you should have a copy of the contract amendment uh, as proposed by um, Raymond Design Associates and as submitted to us through Pink and Company, our OPM. The, um, basically it sums up as there being more on-site visits necessary by a representative from the design firm than was originally anticipated. The original contract allowed for 15 site visits at their rate um, and the rate is roughly $1,020, I believe, per site visit. Um, they want to add a total of 10 more, which adds up to something on the order of uh, 10200 I think, if the math works out 10, right. 10400 Or 10400 mm -hmm. Okay. So it's $10,040 for each site visit. Yep. Um, that's the rate uh, per hour, including travel time, for nine hours for the representative from the company to travel out here. That is a, a not-to-exceed value. Um, but looking at the schedule that they submitted, it sounds like they will meet that value. Um, the question is whether or not um, this is necessary. And I've spoken to both Kelly Claffey as well as Alicia Tony. They are both insistent that if this is not approved, the designer will not be attending the, the meetings on site, uh, will not be able to inspect the uh, progress of the construction, and therefore will not be able to approve expenditures or uh, approve reimbursements. Um, while we may be able to finish the construction of the project, we may not be able to do the billing or get the reimbursement. Um, and like you, I feel as though I've got one hand twisted up behind my back. Yeah. But I'm not sure what else we can do. Um, both the original contract as well as the proposed amendment to it have been forwarded to legal counsel. Um, so you haven't gotten a response yet? I do yet. not have a response from Lisa Mead it, as of yet. It's my... I don't have the contract in front of me, but it's my understanding under Mass General Laws that... Um, they, they do not have the ability to spend the project and that any um, disputed amounts of money goes to the Attorney General's office. And I think we need to pursue that. Okay. I mean, I'd like to make a motion not to approve this. However, um, we have a meeting at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I, you know, I would like us to agree that Kip and I if we have to, we will sign the payment for this and then we will take it to the Attorney General because okay. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like this is total blackmail. Yeah, it feels and, like extortion and to me. This was, these are added on meetings and he's nope. not doing his job. We're, we're having to, to hold his feet to the fire on this just to get him to sign paperwork. We're the ones that, we we're, it came down today to sign reimbursement paperwork, and he is missing a signature. So we can't even submit it until we get that signature on. And so he's not even processing the paperwork correctly, and he's making us... On the scheduled meetings right. that he already has agreed to, he's not fulfilling this his This is the, the first bargain. reimbursement. I mean, he, pro he, needs, he sits on it for like 10 days. And he's charging us for meetings so he can verify that the work is done, and then he sits on it for 10 days to process it. And... Yeah. You're only allowed a reimbursement once a month, and this we haven't even got the July reimbursement. I, I, I mean, it's unbelievable. This is August 2nd. So wow. to me, well, this is a rip. There's a good chance that his boss is going to be at this meeting tomorrow because uh, Jeff is on vacation. Um, well, then Jean, we need to sort it Jean out. Gene Raymond is supposed to be there, or at least that's my understanding. So uh, maybe we can talk with him further about this. I have um, been requested by Alicia Tony to, re to let her know as to whether or not you signed this contract. Um, she's been requested by Jean Raymond to, to find out as soon as you determine, uh, as soon as you sign this or not. Um, my understanding is that if you do not sign this contract, he will not be there tomorrow. That really feels like blackmail. Um, it is wicked blackmail. Yeah. All right, um, let's table this for now and, and let's try to get in touch with Lisa Mead. We need 
Okay. I have her Again, home. She has a copy of the full contract yeah. as well as the can amendment, I, and she can advise us to whether or not the amendment I have is appropriate. I have her home phone number, so can maybe I, before tonight we can find out the answer. Can I just ask, Have we? Um, has he expended every meeting up until now? Are these no. anticipated yes. meetings? These are anticipated meetings as well, uh, primarily because there were, um, I, I guess, a disagreement as to the, the context of the meetings and uh, design changes, and that um, they both both firms felt that they spent a lot more time on paperwork than they should have. Uh, the, the problem is they create the, per, the the paperwork, they drive the meetings, and uh, you know they also drive the conclusions. So everything is made up by them. And uh, well, we we spent all last week on a or two weeks ago on a screw. He couldn't find the screw, and um, then he, I mean, it was a whole wasted meeting on that, and then he couldn't find the screw, and then we went on from there and, and continued with what we were using or what the contractor was using. I don't know. Dick, do you want to just add in anything? Well, he didn't specify specifically the item you're talking about. He didn't specify in his design what the screw was, and then he said he'd used it hundreds of times, and we gave him 48 hours to come up with a part number or a screw, and he said he would do that. And when all is said and done, the screw is non-existent. So, but the point to make here is that he signed a document with the building commit that's, that's a construction control document that requires him to make periodic inspections of the roof as the engineer on the job. A periodic inspection of the roof. When I asked him before the permit was issued what that entailed, he said he would personally be there every single week. Now he's asking you to pay him for being there on top of what he got paid for already. And we've it's had, as Kip knows, we've had several design errors that he's had to correct, like mm -hmm. around the windows. Of the mm -hmm. skylight window is what he want to call them. And, you know, he's had to correct those. So It's, it's no different than any of the other problems that we had with no. him. Whether, uh, you know, when it cho we chose a different shingle, you know, he wanted $8,000 in a week to review them, and they're the exact same thing. They're just cut differently on a machine. You know, at every it's, opportunity. It's a better laminate, yeah. laminate yeah. Con uh, shingle, mm -hmm. so it was an improvement. Right. And he wanted to evaluate it plus money. He wanted eight thousand dollars plus a week. He was going to hold up the job like for a week. And know. this is a seven or eight week job. Well, the shingle that Kip finally went to meets and was in all and is in all the specs as a laminated shingle. And he said he made an error when he put the laminated and didn't mean to write that in there. And then he went on further to say that even though he made a mistake, there's language in the beginning of the contract that allows him to make mistakes because he's human. And, but yet we've got to pay for it. So I, I, you know, I told him no. And wow. That's where it's um, If where I may just chime in, my only concern is that we continue with the project. I, it's oh, yeah. my I'm concern too. Nervous. So yeah. we're going to table this for now. I withdraw my motion. And um, we're going to have to try to get in touch with Lisa and see what she says um, and then I want to make sure that we have the documentation to dispute this at the Attorney General's office level. Because this, I'm, I am sure that that is mass contract law, that we can dispute it. They cannot suspend the project, and we need to sort that out. We may so, be able to dispute it. it. It may also be that we have to pay, uh, agree to make the payment. Yes. Sign the contract amendment and agree to make the payment. Um, that's the other thing we could do. But we is, need to is, document that it's under duress and that we've been threatened with this. Yeah. And we need, that's why we need to sort this out before right. a 9 o'clock meeting tomorrow morning. Yep. Okay. Yep. Because whatever, that's why we need to get in touch with Lisa and track her down. And okay. I will, again, try to reach out to her right now via email and see if she's able to provide an opinion. Yeah. Or, some, or just somebody yep. to give us a little bit of guidance, and then we'll t touch base with the Attorney General's office tomorrow. Fair enough. And make sure we have whatever documentation is necessary. Okay. Um, Matt, thank you for coming in. Mark, coming in. Um, we, at, at your request, Mark, 
once Matt and Mark, once you sit, come sit up here, um, we're, we call this meeting um, to discuss issues at your property. This is not going to be, um, we're not going to allow public comment um, from the audience. This is, this is just so that we can discuss this with Matt and Mark, okay? Uh, we want people to understand this is a public meeting. It's governed by rules set out in Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 30A, Sections 19 through 24. And these are rules established by the Attorney General. While the public is permitted to attend an open meeting, um, we're requesting that individuals not address the public body without permission from the chair. This, this is just business. And we want to talk to Matt and not have issues going back and forth. So. Um, we'd like to be civil, and we don't want any disruptions, okay? Thank you. Um, so, Matt, um, we're, you're coming in. Or your Mark had requested this meeting so you both could come and talk to us and um, address <coughs> what was happening on your property. I, I want to say I appreciate the fact that one of the sky lifts have, is gone, that the blacktop and the concrete piles are gone, that you're working to fill the dumpsters. Um, I want to give you credit for that. And it's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, but there are some other issues that haven't been addressed. One of the issues is running um, your contracting business um, out of um, your address. And there's no home business permit for this at the moment. Um, there are some parking of commercial vehicles there still and we have, are still receiving complaints about running vehicles, um, your trucks. So what I'd like to know is what's your plan um, and what is your side of the story on this? Because we haven't had any discussion with you before. Well, all the equipment on site is also being used for the progression of the site. Um, there's over four feet of grade change um, and yeah, it's on my property. And I've neatened it up and brought in everything from this line of sight from the road off the road. Um, and I don't have anywhere else to take it. I don't have any money to spend to take it somewhere else. So that's where I'm at. Well, Dick, would you like to address what hasn't been addressed yet? Well, I, again, I was at the site, and uh, he's cleaned up the blacktop, cleaned up the concrete, and got rid of one of the sky lifts. And I think that's a great step moving forward. And I think the only thing I would ask is, you know, some kind of a plan to continue on. I mean, it's that simple. He's done. I think he's done a good job in the past few days. You know, he came in on Friday, and Doug and myself, and. Kip had a conversation, and he, he, I believe he followed through as much as he could do in those few days. And I guess the only questions that I'd have would be, you know, just tell me when you're going to do something else. Uh, seems pretty simple. I mean, for example, and I'll just use this, if you don't mind me talking to Matt. No, I use this like, you know, some plan when you're going to get rid of the next sky lift, for example, or where you're going to get it out of sight. Something like that. When the motor's finished, then I can take down my trees. Okay. So, did you move it? The question. Mm -hmm. Tell them that. Yeah, it's out of sight. Okay. Completely. So. I, I guess, I don't know how I'm getting into this question answer thing, but, but I guess the question I would ask if I was sitting up there would be time frame for some stuff and just write down dates and stuff that you're going to get things accomplished. And if you can't make a date, then I'd be going back to these people and saying, I need a little more time to finish this or finish that. I think that's what the neighbors are looking for, and I think that's what the board is looking for. I want to see this amicably resolved. Anything you want to say? Hmm? Anything you want to say? Uh, it, <coughs> Um, I agree with them. I think that it needs to be amicably resolved, but you can't be chasing windmills in the, you can't be chasing windmills. You can't be running around trying to fix everything when he has limited funds to do so. 
appreciate that. Um, and he took off a week of work to meet the, what the intent was, I think, um, for cleaning it up. Um, and the, as he said, the vehicles he's using or he's using on the road, on the property to do the work you want done. He doesn't have any place else to store them, and as, as he gets money, he will correct all the things that he needs to get done. Um, the, um, the motor took it, the first motor, and that sky lift went Nobody to cared. another town, a municipality, for their functional use. It was an agreement that they made. It took a year and a half to get repaired. He's going to repair this one himself because the people that repaired it took a year and a half to do that. When they got it back, they put it in immediately. Um, and it got shipped out. Um, a time frame for items, and again, Dick alludes to giving time frames for what it is that has to be done. Then Dick needs to come up with a list of what are the items that are highest on the priority so that he can formulate a plan to address each one of those things. Well, I, th I think just based on the complaints that I've gotten, Mark, what, what needs to be done is how are you going to stop running the business out of the location because, you know, vehicles are coming and going. I mean, there is, I'm not disputing that you need certain equipment there to finish cleaning up, but I, I am hearing complaints that um, equipment is coming and going. I drive by enough myself to know that, you know, some of the vehicles don't appear to be using or being used on the site. And so I wonder, you know, what, what is the plan to stop the business part at that location? I guess, is that, would that be a justifiable question? I don't know. Well, I think there's a lot of questions. I mean, first of all, the, okay. the business is one aspect of it. But another aspect is last week when we spoke, there were three dumpsters there. There's two dumpsters there and another, some sort of slide off container. And there's another truck. There's a skid steer, a loader, and an excavator. More stuff keeps coming. And the whole idea was to clean this up. And I understand you're going to say that we well, can't clean it up without this. But you have enough equipment there, you could do the whole thing in a week. I, I, don't, I don't get it, you know. It just seems like, you know, not enough has been done. You need to load those containers up and bring them to some place where they can be kept, not there. You need to load up the tractor and take it someplace where it can be kept, not there. You know, if you, don't, if you can't find a place for it, then you either have to rent land or sell them. You know, you, you, it, this has been going on for a long time. It didn't happen last week or last month. You know, we've got over a dozen uh, complaints from the police department. Um, you know, you've gotten letters over the last six months, and you know, the only the only thing that has been done is, well, you know, I need more time. I, I don't have any place to put it. You know, the. The people around me can suffer and, well, you know, I've got the right to do this and I don't have the money, I don't have the time, you know, and, you know, as a community, we all have to live and work together. And you created this and it's not up to Dick to make a list or us to make a list, it's up to you to resolve it. Sounds like community. Excuse me? Sounds like community. Thank you. Trevor, do you have anything to say? Well, um, you know, I, I appreciate, again, the effort made in the last week to clean up the site. Um, I gotten, it, I gotten uh, some communications over the weekend that people were upset that there were, you know, uh, from seven, 7 in the morning, 6 at night, machines going all day, trucks going all day, and, and I understood that. People kind of understood that from the history to be, here we go again, nothing has changed for a year now. Um, I understood that because I, I know that you came in on Friday and had a, had a meeting. I understood that as your attempt to get it cleaned up, and I really appreciated that. I, did, I wasn't able to relay that back to the person yet because I wanted to have this meeting and find out where this came from, but I do really appreciate you taking the effort to, to clean up this week. Um, 
but it's you know it's been it's been a long time and I, you know I don't know I didn't know what the rules were originally but I understand that you know one you can't run a business out of there you can't have all those machines there and you can't be doing all that I mean you, obviously you need if you need to do work on your site you get a permit you do the work on the site that, that makes sense um, but I think the big issue is that the neighbors have felt abused for a very long time um, and they just want some peace and quiet and they want some um, uh, sense of residency back to the neighborhood so I think again if we can just find a solution to get this stuff cleaned up see some, and assist the, the contractors yard or whatever it whatever that means whatever that um, construction work uh, going there gets finished off the machines get out of there and, and it goes back to a residential neighborhood I think that's just the people want some peace and quiet to the neighborhood and um, they invest a lot in those communities as you invest a lot in your neighborhood so I think again however the list comes about if we can get a list to what this needs to get done in a timeline and how we can get it done to give the neighbors some peace and quiet and have their neighborhood back without all the noise 24 7 I think would be would be the goal um, so what however we could do that amicably would be great I'd, I'd like to make a comment that it, it's my fault that equipment was run over the weekend and because we specifically told Matt yep. do whatever you had to do to start cleaning up yep okay and I told him and neighbors and everybody I told him if he made noise doing it it was okay we I take the responsibility that he made noise over the weekend cleaning it up and that's just what he did. So, right. Uh, no, Dick, we take the responsibility because we did yes, ask. Absolutely. Um, you know, I relayed to both Mark and, um, um, and Blake that it was very important that Matt try to have some headway on this before this meeting. So when you request the meeting, Mark, I, I specifically stressed that it was very important to have some, something done before when you came to the meeting. Um, we haven't uh, issued any fines yet um, because we wanted to have a good, you know, we wanted you to try to make an effort, Matt. The whole point here is not to own the property, make so many fines, so much uh, lump sum fines that we end up owning the property. It's to get resolution. Mm. And I do credit you for working on this this weekend. But I also feel it's really important that we get a plan that's definitive that you're going to finish up and that um, you're not going to operate a business out of there. Um, people do perceive that there is a business happening and based on the complaints that we're getting, um, that some of them has been documented <coughs> by the police, that there is activity that is not related to site cleanup there. And you know, that has to end. That is really important. This is a residential neighborhood. And there is no permit to, bi to operate a business there. Do you understand, Matt? I mean, nope. this is. That's fine. You don't <coughs> understand, Matt? No. Can you shed some light on that, Matt? How, how does this, how gonna, that make I'm sense? Gonna have to, I'm going to have to get some advice before I speak about that. Okay. Yeah. I just wondered um, if you could just... I, the only thing I'll shed on it is the fact that when he moved there, he got what he thought was a business permit. And he's informed some time ago that he didn't have one. Right. And that it had to come through the Board of Selectmen. Because yep. it was misissued by your office. Don't No. Go there. Don't yes. Go, don't, don't go there. <laughs> Please. I think just don't go there. Yep. So there was a... Um, Misunderstanding, which we still don't know the definition or the aspects of it, because a home business is not a business permit. And people that we've talked to in different arenas do it different ways, and different towns do it different ways. So mm -hmm. I have yet to see any bylaws or laws or something in there that describes what that process is and what that, per what that permitting process looks like. And it's taken me a long time to get to this thought process because I was confused about that aspect of it because I've been sitting in those chairs for a few years 
Um, we authorized home business permits where people took chunks of their home and turned it into businesses. Mm -hmm. We didn't see a lot of, and to the best of my knowledge, I don't remember seeing a business permit come in front of the Board of Selectmen. So it was confusing. Okay. And that's where the confusion comes from, just to answer your question. And again, helps. not to blame anybody for mm -hmm. anything because it's a small town and everybody's trying to do a good job in what they do. Mm -hmm. And they deserve credit for the fact that they do a good job here. So that's the just to answer your question aspect of it. I, I, I guess I'm confused because my understanding is that Matt registered his business with the town clerk. Right. But that's it. There was no permit issued. We Registering it as a doing business as okay. is different than having a permit to do anything. All right. Mark, you were on the Board of Selectmen. You knew nothing, was, nothing came through our office. There was no application. I want, I want to see, and we'll, we'll deal with that later on. I, I apologize for my ignorance, and I apologize that if what my recollection of sitting in those chairs is incorrect. But we did home businesses where people took chunks of their home and turned them into businesses. Mm -hmm. And those are the only permits that I saw came through, with the exception of awful, for permits for licenses for businesses, for licenses for everything else. I signed a lot of licenses in my, time, my tenure there. I never saw what you're talking about. And if I did, I apologize because I got confused with which one of those items I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. Because it became kind of a daily routine process. But to the best of my knowledge, what I was looking at was not what was being portrayed. So it confused me and I didn't know how to answer the question and I didn't answer the question. But I did ask, but I did ask several people for the forms and stuff of that nature and it got shuffled under the, it just didn't happen. And it's okay. my responsibility to make sure that it did happen, and it didn't happen. Yeah. Just so you know, uh, the zoning bylaw uh, 2230 um, deals with contractors' issues, and um, operation of a home business is 2241, 2242. They've been in our bylaws for at least nine years. So, and you can get that at any of the town offices. Well, I, have a, I finally got a copy of it upon yeah. request. Finally, at, after quite a few. Well, I think it's critical here that we need to continue the progress mm -hmm. that has occurred over the weekend. We, I mean, we, we have feel to do it's that. correct. And if you've noticed on the side of the barn, he's gotten fencing. He's got other things that he can do. Okay. He just took and understand. He took a week off of work, which means no money in, no money out, and spent the money that he has. The dumpsters that are on the property right now have a building that was removed and put into the dumpsters and stuff off the land that was put into the dumpsters. As soon as he makes enough money to pay to have the dumpsters dumped, he'll remove the dumpsters with the stuff that's in them. The, uh, the parts that I'm going to have to deal with is reading the stuff that Kip has presented me with and understand where that all comes from and to ask for legal advice in, in the process because uh, Carolyn? Can I ask a question? Sure. Mark, would you have any objection if I asked them if they would have Blake help you with your conversation here? I see Blake is back there. He came all the way out here, obviously, to help you out. Um, I, I have no objection to well, my I just, family doing maybe anything Blake for me, but I don't want to put him on the spot either. Well, I don't know. I'll leave it up to Blake, but I would like to ask the board if, you know, Blake is Matt's uncle and Mark's brother and very respect, respected person, and I'd just like to ask permission if he could be a person that could help Mark out and help Matt to Absolutely. discuss some Absolutely. of this. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm. And you can ask Blake if he's willing. Actually. Can we take maybe five minutes so I can talk to them? Sure. Sure. We absolutely yeah, would want absolutely. progress. We'll move on to the one of the other agenda items that we have. Um, we uh, unfortunately um, 
Unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, the person we appointed to uh, administrative assistant, assistant town clerk, um, has decided to, to move on. So um, it was very close second person, and um, the interview was just a couple weeks ago. So there is an offer. Barbara would like us to make an, um, an offer to Lisa uh, Cecilia. Cecilia? Doug, how do you say her last name? Uh, I believe it's CJ. CJ? CJ? Okay. Okay. Um, and to take the position of <laughs> I know I, I'm not sure how to say it um, to take the position of administrative assistant assistant town clerk grade one step one so um, if if you, neither one of you have a problem with this no, we'll that'd be fine. move to appoint her so she can make the offer letter okay um, um, like I'll make, make a motion to um, uh, to appoint Lisa sit, um, Sicha, <laughs> to the position of administrator we're, assistant. We, we have it in writing, so. Oh, good. We're, we're, <laughs> we're covered. We're, we're, we're going to cover this right person, <laughs> no matter how often we say uh, her name. To position of administrative assistant, um, assistant town clerk, grade one, step one. I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, then there is one more item. Uh, So, I don't think we have to vote on this because we already voted on this, right? This when you get that the, little package. package. The compensation for um, the, the new position, the, the yeah, re, re, revamped position. Which one's I, that? I think we have already voted on this stuff last week. Uh, I'm not even sure what you're looking at. Oh. I apologize. Oh, no, this is. Um, it was for the uh, joint, um, yeah. the joint position. <laughs> Sorry. We, yeah. I think we already voted we on this. We did that. And we voted, we voted Yes, that. you do. I think that was done last week. I'm not sure why that was not, yep. why that was even in there. And I apologize for that. No, 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 no. That's yep. okay. Yep. So that's, that's it, it's already approved. Just I'm, I'm pretty check. sure. Oh, yeah. No. This is just a copy of this memo to you for your reference. It actually went to Barb. Okay. So oh, that's okay. a copy for your reference for that. That's okay. why you're the only one I was Do you want about. this, Doug, this, that we voted that? I will take that. Thank you okay. very much. Um, Something I'd like to bring up, I, I don't know if and or when we might have a fall a special town meeting. It'll happen. But we need to put uh, something on the warrant as far as changing or I'd like to change um, the usage requirement for that land that was donated by BEAT on okay. Route 5. Uh, just to remove the re current restrictions that sure. it can be used for any um, municipal um, purpose. purpose. Yeah. Thank you. That sounds Doug, good. did you get that? Um, is it? Restricted currently? It's restricted to a highway garage and recreation use. Uh, but considering we're not about to build another highway garage. <laughs> oh. I think we do need two highway garages, honestly. <laughs> oh, don't even go there. <laughs> um, I would entertain a, a, a motion to uh, lease the one that we currently have. I think we could make more money doing that, but that's all right. I don't think you want to go there either. Sorry. <laughs> no. either. Um, so, an article. Uh, to allow or remove restrictions. There's a couple other, Doug, the there's town. a, um, I can't remember offhand, but there was a couple other restrictions that we were worried about on other things. Um, Bruce? Let me look into that if, if you would. I know that there are some, situ uh, some issues, uh, uh, limitations that may be imposed on the town as to what we can do for property. If it's donated for a certain purpose, we may not be able no, to change its use. Just... This is uh, this was our own another, yeah the, the board of selectmen at the time I'm going to blame you guys. Um, it's fine. The town was the, the land was donated to town unrestricted. Uh, the town put it on the warrant to be used as a highway facility we were gonna, that's and recent. or recreation. That Got was it. What okay. We were gonna do. Yeah. But there was no restrictions. There was no restrictions on the deed. On it. So no. it was just that the way you. it was accepted at town meeting and apparently we need to change Because that was our that. purpose at the point at okay. that point in time. Yeah, it just never got changed. Bruce, what's uh, the question? I was just going to follow up with what you just said, uh, Kip. The, when I first worked on that piece of property um, for highway design or EMS building, we were advised that the only the only uh, limitation was that somebody, and now it's clear that had designated that piece of property for recreation only. 
not uh, for highway garage. It was not anticipated for highway garage. That I was guess my I'm, impression. No, I, I could well, be wrong. I just yeah, want I read the I read the deed, and there's no restriction on the deed. So that <clears> and came I from also Chaney read LB, right? Excuse me. It came from Cheney LB. Yes, sir. And but I did read uh, the article from the town warrant, and it was to be used for a highway okay. facility, and. Uh, for recreation, because I guess there's a certain portion of that property that would be too close to wetlands to construct, and they figured they could use that as a, some sort of recreation field. We didn't realize but there was I so much yeah, wetland at the time. At the time of the donation, yeah. right? Yeah. At the time of the donation, there were, we didn't realize how much um, wetlands there was yeah. actually. Okay. And I think and the so majority of that is near the road, anyways. Excuse me? I think the majority of that is near the road. No, there's a ditch in the back. Yeah. Oh, is there a ditch in the back as well? Yeah. It's there all chopped up. It's, it's, it's all chopped up. Ty and Bond yeah. uh, actually did the uh, yeah. evaluation of the wetlands. Yeah. That's why the highway garage well, didn't go there. Well, Dufresne and Henry won the two of them. Okay. Um, I, uh, do you know the date of the town meeting when that was first accepted? Off the top of your head, or what year? Come on, come I on. think it was twenty-five dollars. Can you? No, it was around two thousand three. About two thousand three. Yeah. I didn't think it was that late. We'll, uh, that's we'll, all right. We'll do. I, I thought it was. Later. I don't. I really don't remember. I think it was in the back of my head, I thought it was two thousand six. Oh right. really? Okay. Well, it was in the early two thousands. I we'll get. I've been around too long. You get confused with all the years. But <laughs> we've gone back as far as the thirties, looking for history you, on town-owned land. So you know, if we can pin it down to a single decade, we're doing that. That's Doug, I have good. the paperwork at home, so okay. I will. I'll make a note if I remember to read my note. I'll let you know when that date was. Very good. Thank you. Blake, would you like to pull up a chair and come up? <laughs> well. I, I, it's very important that we have some kind of resolution. After we just spoke, uh, we're looking at moving the big equipment off within the week. We have a location that we can put stuff at, and we'll start working and getting the other equipment off of there. So we're going to need some time to get some of the other stuff off, but we'll get the big stuff off and have it in another location within a week. Um, Thank you. Would you be willing to come next week to our selectmen's meeting to um, give us progress update and um, look at the plans, what, you know, whatever Dick um, would outline as a plan, or, yeah, I mean, if you could get to Dick so that we can just articulate it, and so we have follow-up, yeah, well, I, I, I think it's important that we stay on top of this, and I'm, I'm willing no. not to impose fines. That's it. Um, That's as it. long as the progress yeah. continues. Yep. And is that? Um, the, the bottom line here is I, I'm not looking to get money from anybody. I just want a resolution for this too. I mean, you know, we're, I, I feel compelled to, you know, protect the rights of, of these residents as well as the ones in the back of the room. And that, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of new to this and I don't understand all the legal going back and forth since we already took a vote to impose a fine, you know, do we need to now do that after or do we leave that in place until this is, um, you know, Well, he has not rectified. received it in writing well, that I, we're I imposing understand a that, but fine. So that, that's, I just don't know. Okay. Um, I'll go with that. So I, the point is to have progress. And if we have to meet weekly, we'll, we'll meet weekly. But it's really important that this get done and, and we have resolution. And, and like I said, it's not, we're not trying to own the property. And, and that's what I'm afraid of if once the fines start. And I mean, you're just never going to dig out of the hole. So, okay. Then um, can you, Matt, would you be willing, or, or Blake or Mark, for Matt, just um, put in writing what, to Dick, what you intend to do this, in this week? Okay. And that we can verify that it's to be done between now and next Wednesday. And, um, as long as, you know, I've got to give, you know, we could just start helping right this minute. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. got to give them a few days to get organized and stuff, so. Well, I, I mean, what he suggests is sounds wonderful. So mm -hmm. I would just if you say, could put it you know, down in writing. I think it's important that we have it in writing. we can work out together and, so, uh, and make 
just give me some progress report for next week. Would that be acceptable? Um, I don't. I don't mind coming weekly if that's what you guys okay. want to spend your time doing. But the reality is, the statement was we will get the heavy equipment off in a week and okay. come up with a plan for the rest of it. That's all okay. we can tell Dick. If you want me to write that down in one line, no, sentence, no. Start, I'll okay. be glad that's to fine. do that. I think that's you fine. can take his word at it. I yes. No. If that's okay, that's fine. Now, I will accept that the heavy equipment will be gone. And I will. I will write down what we're doing and what's going on with this and oh, thank you. Um, make sure that, you know, like I said, if, if uh, we're not, if there's certain things that we're missing and that sort of thing, that's why I think I'll probably even come back out next Wednesday just to make sure that there's clarity to what's going on here. Okay. So, um, um, the, I want to clarify one thing so that we don't get confused in here. He has a man lift there that has to have an engine to run. It took him two and a half days to move it and to put it someplace, the one that he did move. He did move the other one out behind the brush pile, so it's out of sight and out of mind. That's not going to be moved in a week because it's big and it needs some place appropriate and needs to be worked on. So that's well, not included in the heavy equipment that can be moved. You're allowed, and you are allowed one unregistered vehicle, well, and, and that can be your one unregistered vehicle. That's not vehicle. a registered vehicle. <laughs> so, but anyways, it's, again, well, did, the things that, that are being that fixed. Qualifies for, is that? Well, why don't you give us... Why don't you give them a week? Why don't you give them until next Wednesday? I'm very confident that they're in good hands now for advice. Okay. Okay? I don't want to be marked. Don't, don't take any offense. The but thing is, is that I, I don't want, I we don't want to put something down there that we can't, can't get it. done in okay. that week. So what we'll do is, like I said, everything that's mobile, everything that can be moved will be moved that, that can get done. And then we'll have a plan for whatever is, needs to get moved and come up with a plan for that aspect of it as well. Okay. All right. Yes, thank, thank you, you, Blake. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matt and Mark, for coming in. We'll um, have you on the agenda. Before you leave, let's set a time. Uh, what, what time, Doug, on the agenda for them? Uh, one moment, I can dig that up. Um, once the computer gets there. Apologize for taking so long. Actually, I don't think we have an agenda worked up for the tenth. So, right at six thirty. Yes. Is that going to be okay for you, yeah. Matt? Do you understand six thirty? Yep. Okay. That's your business. All right. Um, anything else? Did, we don't have a meeting this Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. That's Did correct. you want to talk about anything about that uh, purchase orders coming through through us? Before they go out over four thousand dollars, or um, What's this? purchase orders for any items that um, were approved at town meeting, we just want to look at them. Um, okay, so we don't use purchase orders. Are you basically saying you want uh, purchases of four thousand dollars or higher to be passed before you for approval? Sure. I mean, it's quick look what it is. Okay, so yeah, just, we're not buying a bottle of water for $45. That's, how do you feel? Okay, that's an operational choice. You can simply tell us to do that. Um, I, I just wanted some discussion on the 4000 because, like, um, collectively, computers are, I don't know how, how much money we put are putting aside for computers. I'm not. not. But, oh, we're not buying any computers? We're not. Okay. Um, the, no. the larger purchases of, uh, there is already a, 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 a something which addresses this in the bylaws um, that any purchase of $4,000 or more, uh, regardless of uh, appropriation for it, must come, uh, must be publicly posted for a week in the front lobby, uh, that someone must actually post that information. Um, and it must stand posted for a week before it can actually be purchased. That's part of the town bylaw. That's actually one of the bylaws that we're hoping to change because well, it's extremely restrictive. It makes it very, very difficult to, well, to conduct business. And that's above and beyond any requirements imposed by Chapter 30B, the public procurement. Where, so. where was that posting for our new tractor? For the new tractor? Uh, we actually, 
That's a really good question. That's, I don't think it was That's done. why I want this so it comes across okay. our desk. So any purchase over $4,000 you would like to come yeah. before you for approval prior to purchase. Right. Well, you simply need to set, tell us to do that, and we can do that. I, I had some question on the 4000 because, you know, when we appropriate money for, like, computers or software systems or whatever, I just wanted to make sure that there are a couple people looking at it. That's all. Are done. you talking about any new purchase? Are you talking about any payment? No, new purchase. Any new purchase. And, new and purchase. the reason for that is that it's one thing to appropriate $50,000 for software that's going to do A, B, and C. What I want to make sure is that when that's ordered, we're getting the A, B, and C. We're not going to get the CDF, you know, and it will, it's compatible in this. That, I just, you know, and I'm not claiming to be uh, a computer expert. I just want to know that what we, were, what we okay. were intended to get is what we're getting and not adding on to it. Okay. Be, I, be very careful. I'm going to make something up so we're not talking sure. about something specific. Let's say we want to buy a new Prius. Yep. Let's say that... Uh, that uh, our inspections department wants a new car and they want to buy a Prius and they've got one on a contract, right. it's going to be $28,000. Right. Now in order to do that, that request has to start as a capital improvements planning committee request. It goes through the CIPC. It gets submitted to them. Yep. There has to be a public hearing. That gets brought to a public hearing that the CIPC and the Board of Selectmen currently hold jointly. Yep. Once they do that, then it can go on a town meeting warrant. It gets presented on the town meeting warrant with the CIPC approval. That's what they're going to buy. We're going to buy a Prius. It's going to be a hybrid car. That's what we're going to use for our inspections department. Town meeting votes it and says yes. Now you're saying that you want to have a, a supervisory authority over that purchase and that if you say that Priuses aren't the way to go. We need to go with a Chevy Volt. We need no, to go with a no, full plug in no. hybrid. What, what I'm, now what you I'm just no, superseding no, everything. That's not it. What I'm no, saying no, is no, that no, when we say. order, when we agree to get that Prius, yeah, that the person ordering the Prius doesn't order high performance lithium battery, high speed tires, wind tunnel testing, uh, body side molding, and all the other things that go along with it. I want to order the Prius that we were going to get. I don't want all these other things added. This is okay. just a double and test. And do you have any, any evidence that that is happening now? It just no. Did. What do you mean, Dale? No, no. We're not. We're all talking right. about moving into the future, Doug. We just want okay. to make sure that what Capital Improvement Committee has voted on, what the town meeting voted on, and what we're authorizing as expenditures, just double check by somebody, and it's us as the. You know, any, and it's, and I, any well, I'm not purchase saying, of equipment and, and equipment anything. or vehicles or anything over $4,000. $4, $4, would you just, and it, it's not that we're going to second cap. guess it. Just, I want to look at it to make sure that's what we intended it for. I don't want, I don't want to see, you know, it get inflated. The only, the only uh, if the, we don't, what I'd like, we want to do is just look at it before it goes through the warrant. Because once we sign it on the warrant, it's too late. The stuff is, it's a done deal. All we're doing um, is signing the warrant. What we want to do is just look at it before it gets submitted to Brenda to pay. Is this exactly what everybody well, before had it's mind? ordered, Carol. So yes, yes, with yes. any purchase of any equipment, you're going to want to see all of the paperwork leading up to the purchase of, the, of that equipment, including the original request made to the CIPC? Yeah, probably. It, wow. it, it's not that. I including the original that. request to the CIPC because that's what was approved. Right. And the CIPC will be asking all these same questions long before it, we get Doug, to this point. this is just a second look, yeah. okay? Don't, this is to make sure. Deal, just, just, I have no problem with it. Okay. Yeah. I have no problem with it. I just and want to be is, very clear. And this can be replacing the, we need to replace that bylaw because that bylaw is ridiculous. I don't think it happens. I don't think it happens either. That's the first time I've even heard of it. So. Right. I never see something on that wall I for purchase. I, I mean, I don't think, in my time here, no one's posted anything for a week. I did actually. About a month and a half ago. Did you? Well, yes. and I think I was the first me. one to right. reinforce so, what you just said. So how does that now how does that get disseminated amongst the town? Uh, it will go out to the department heads as a memo tomorrow morning. They will be informed that this is what they will do from this point forward. Um, that so will we're include. We're requesting them to do it. Yes, Doug. Um, please. And, and that if it, Carol, if you're Trevor or whatever this, if for some reason a, a purchase needs it, you know in a timely manner, we can always meet if it doesn't fit into our other every other week schedule. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. If, but I think if there's a reason for yeah. a, I mean, we, I don't want to be like so rigid, just like but if there's here, a reason for, always meet. The, if there's the only a reason cases, for a air yeah. spoiler fender that 
makes sense and it fits in the same budget, right. um, that, that makes sense yeah. to me. We're, I mean, I'm not. This is not, not a, this is deep. not to be. Right. This is just to make sure that there's additional follow through. That's the one, uh, the one exception, and I'll make sure, and I'm sure you'll agree with this. The one exception to this policy will be those cases where public safety or public health Absolutely. is immediately threatened. Absolutely. Uh, in sure. the case, for example, yeah. a motor blows out at the lift station at Captain Lathrop Drive, and it's going to cost twelve grand to replace. That's we replace totally it right good. away to make that happen. Dick, I, I totally. And of, and of course, the paperwork will be followed. Reviews or, or sees it is an emergency. That's Anything a, that John a, or Kevin sees is an emergency. This is, this is just regular town appropriated money that went through the CIC, CIPC process, went through town meeting, and then there's some follow through in between. That's all. Okay. Yep. All capital purchases exceeding $4,000 must be brought to the select board for final review prior to any expenditure of money prior to any ordering of it. Because sometimes if they order something prior to, you know, then, then we're obviously, on the hook. you know, then it becomes a, uh, a. What we're looking at is it's just between town meeting approval and ordering it in July or August or whenever the ordering happens, that we have some way to just sign off on it, Doug. That's all. Because usually the CIC process or in town meeting is up to a certain amount. And we just want to just check it out. Mm -hmm. And this this is going to apply to everybody, whether it's scams, whether it's okay. Um, okay. Any any purchase. Okay. I just wanted to pick up, especially on software, because software we don't need to know all the details, but we want to make sure the software is really appropriate for what it was intended to do, and that nothing is lost from the date. from the original application or the what. People had said to the CIPC and town meeting is consistent okay. with what we get. Okay. So I think, I think that's a good thing, even with software, because if we see a, a discrepancy, we can always reach out for expert, you know, opinion on and it. And some of the software does not is not isn't wouldn't be eligible for the CICP anyway. So and that's I, I you know that was one of my original bugaboos to the CICP. I wanted them to pick up software. And it doesn't really meet the right criteria for that committee. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I guess if we're all done, yep. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Oops. Oops. Hang on a second. Good question. Bruce? Yeah. Um, um, I don't know why don't inform me, but from what I can gather, was that particular $4,000 bylaw, was that written? for capital or was this just things that might come up uh, say the town clerk got a real bargain for paper for $4,500 and then it's even that but it's still within her budget and she want you you know want a second Bruce I honest to God don't know because it, this is the first time I heard of it it refers to any capital purchase I, I would not refer to a purchase of supplies or I don't, I don't believe it says for capital I think I believe it says any material. purchase any purchase so if we have a deal on paper, we have to not let services, it sit idle for services, a year material, or for material. our pool. I don't know. I, I was not aware that we were even doing it. So you weren't. Um, okay. We'll work through the details of that. Right. Someone needs to adjourn. I'll try again. <laughs> Did you second it? I seconded it. All right. I second again. I'll, 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 all those in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you.